But yeah, that was the uh, I found that was the secret to everlasting happiness. So just huh. do that and it'll be fine. Keep that in mind. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Commander stream here on uh, MagicTheGathering.tv. I'll be your magical host along with the other magical hosts. Two hosts. Two magical hosts. And today we're playing a Gave Guru of Spores deck, courtesy of Josh VS. And uh, Josh is... Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I literally have no idea what's going on with that one. Uh, so you can check out the deck. It's, the deck list is going to be in the description below. But also because this is... Uh, Nope, no idea what I was gonna say there either. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna wing it now. You're doing well. We're not. It's not going great here. However, uh, what do you th what do you think about this deck so far? Have you well, taken a look at it? Let's take a look. Let's go row by row. Okay, we got enlightened tutor, uh -huh. path, uh -huh. swords, uh -huh. hardened scales. That's good. Wild growth. Mm -hmm. Worldly tutor. Mm -hmm. Sensei. Oh, that's good. What's going on? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Virtue. Oh, that's a good one. Does this make tokens? What does this guy do? Gavu says, enters the battlefield with five 1-1 one, one counters. Remove a 1-1 one, one counter to create a 1-1. One, one. Sack a creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Uh, on target creature. So it's basically like a big Triskelion, right? Or a uh, Pentavis, right? Yeah. You can make creatures, and then you can sack those creatures to put counters back on this guy. All right. Virtue, Blood Artist. Mm -hmm. Demonic Tutor. And Diabolic Intent. Mm -hmm. Basically the same card. Argothian Enchantress. Cryptolith Rite. How do you feel about this guy? I mean, it's good. Yeah, I agree. It's probably fine in here. Earthcraft, which is basically just a cryptolith, right? Right. It makes all of your creatures tap for mana, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, scavenging ooze, winding constrictor, also pretty Hardened good. Hardened scales part two. Hardened scales part two. Oath of a Johnny. Put a one encounter on each creature you control. Uh, Sterling Grove and Landing Greaves. So all right. Blah blah blah. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for being Frank Mike, the only streamer I sub to, medium fan. That sounds about right. All of that sounds correct. Mentor of the Meek. Mm -hmm. Giraffe's Messenger. Oh, interesting. I guess because the counter synergies, like when you put a plus one, plus one counter on it, it can die again. Right. I wonder if there's an infinite combo there. Oh, there might be, actually, because you Ashnod's Altar. You can sack it. So it comes in play with a plus one, plus one counter, though, but you need, you need a negative one, negative one counter, right? Messenger has an infinite combo win. We're, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Awakening Zone, Fecundity. You know, Fecundity? <laughs> that is definitely not how you say that. How do you say it? You might be right. It's Fecundity. I don't know. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's not how you say that. How do you say it? Oh, you're right. It's probably Fe... Fecundity? Fecundity. Fecundity? No, it's Fecundity. fecundity. It's Fecundity. Inspiring Call. Draw a card for each creature you control with multiple card's good. in it. Uh, Rishkar. Hogar. Rishkar. Hogar. Fecundity. Yeah, that's these are all correct. You guys are nailing it. Petrify. Just no Maelstrom foot. Pulse. Interesting. Well, it's not as good in Commander. I guess that's true. It's only good against tokens. Or shards and Arcadrons. Very good. Failure. You may destroy target artifact. Yeah, so this is just basically the uh, the green-white sliver of, of, our, of, you know, things. Astronaut's Altar, obviously a staple. Chromatic Lantern. Future Fight should be out for Assassin's Trophy. We oh, can do fair. that. Uh, Coalition Relic and Phyrexian Altar. So two Altars. Two Saccharinos. Academy Rector. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Academy uh, damn near killed her. Hmm. Uh, Johnny Steadfast, which is the put a 1-1 one -on -one counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter each Planeswalker, and then you make one dude really big. Uh, Anointed Procession. Poor man's doubling season. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with doubling season. Parallel lives, also nice. A Johnny Goldman. Elspeth. Smothering abomination. At the beginning of your upkeep, sack a dude. Whenever you sack a dude, draw a card. That's actually that'll draw you a lot of cards. Garrick. Solemn, sad boy. And you may cast spells as though they had flash boy. Cathar's Crusade. Whenever a creature enters battlefield, you may put a one-on-one -on -one counter on each creature you control. That's pretty good. Yeah, card bonkers. I have an itch. I have remedied my itch. Crab. I think it's funny that Crab is in here, but Re Regina is not. What does Crab do? Uh, it partners with Regna. The Regna, not Regina. Regna the Redeemer. Uh, for a black, you can sacrifice X creatures. Target player draws X cards and gains X life. And you put X counters on this guy. So, 
for one black, I can sacrifice two creatures, then I'll draw two cards, gain two life, and put two 1-1 counters on him. Huh. Regna is useless. Yeah, but it's still draw a card, right? Plus, you can make tokens? I don't know. Doesn't seem terrible to me. Wow, Regi wow multiple Regina Georges in here. Stop trying to make mean girls happen. Dictate of Erebos. I know it. It's a grave, it's a, it's a grave pact, right? Yeah, right. It's got flash, though? Yeah. What does that guy do? So this is the Kevin for a 2-2 two, two, a two, two for 5. Sacrifice a creature. Target player discards two cards. Activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. That's actually pretty good. You probably just make everyone discard their hand. I imagine so. Yeah. Uh, doubling doubling Season. Fraley's Lana Wars Fury. Shamanic Revelation. Uh, draw a card for each creature you control. You gain four life for each creature you control. A tower four or greater if you have Ferocious. And finally, Mazarek. Crawl Death Priest. 5 mana for a 2-2 two, two with flying. I uh, would not have expected that. Whenever a player sacrifices another permanent, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. Jesus. There's a lot of synergy in this deck. Austere Command. Everybody knows that. Elspeth. Everybody knows her. Martyr's Bond. 6 mana. Whenever Martyr's Bond or another non-land permanent you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield. Each opponent sacrifices a permanent that shares a card type with it. So if you sack two creatures, each opponent sacrifices a creature for each one. Okay. Machaeus the Unhallowed. A classic. That yeah, combos with something. That guy, this guy always combos with something. Whenever a human deals damage to you, destroy it. Other non-humans you control get plus one, plus one, and have undying, which is pretty scary. Um, if there's, if you get into a game, is there any deck you would prefer not to be played? Uh, nothing broken. Like I would just want to play against mid-range decks where everyone can do stuff. That's just pretty much the, the 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 common expectation. Hour of reckoning. Oh, we got forgot merciless fiction. Excel artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or planeswalkers. You get to choose one. Hour of Reckoning, Destroy All Non-Token Creatures, Crater Hoof Behemoth, Ballista, Cord, and Martial Coup. And that's it. That's pretty good. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, McKay's is infinite with the Ballista, yes. Correct. What did you say to me? McKay's is infinite with Ballista. Yikes. I'm going to put Assassin's Trophy in here. I will... Uh... Oh, because it five. comes into play with a, a one one counter. Mm -hmm. So when it un when it dies, it comes into play with a one one counter, and then you get to remove it, and then it comes into play with a one one. Oh god. Yep. Petrify? No, was it Petrify? Yeah. Oh, for Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Micaeus is infinite with your dad. Huh? Did you know that? All right. So as usual. Um, I'm not going to make any changes now because that's silly. And Josh probably... Josh strikes me as someone who actually knows infinite about this list. So we're going to go to... I feel like there's probably other mini combos we don't know about in this deck that we won't understand. Sorry about your dad, man. Why? Because Micaiah's went infinite with him. Why does that matter? It just does, okay? Okay. Okay. Degave. I will host a new match. If you guys want to join this match, as usual, just send me a message on uh, Magic Online and I will add you to my friend list. Because it's buddies only. Only my buddies and me. Do, 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 do. Do remember, remember my buddy? My buddy and me. Hi, Bob. Thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Love the content. Happy three, happy three month anniversary, Bob. Happy three month. You're the hero we need. Mike's buddy and me. Mike's buddy. Did we put in the trophy? Yes, we put in the trophy, you ridiculous sweaty boy. Alright, what do we got here? Pernicious Dude has sent me a mess. Pernicious Dude, are we're not friends on here yet? I will add you as a bro. <clears throat> there you go. Nailed it. Does Mike have a wide body? <laughs> Um, I'd say so. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird question, but, uh, you know, well, uh, he said yes, so there you go. Good for him. Good for you and your wide body. I'm really proud of you. What are you doing right now? It's weird. Can anybody join this game with us? Precious dude asked for the invite, and I gave it to him, and he's still in here, and I don't understand what's going on. You're asking if Mike has a wide body? Damn, boy, he's thick, boy! That's a thick ass bar. Damn. I feel like that answers the question, right? It's the buck bar, isn't it? That's it is always the buck bar. Always the buck bar. 
Never forget the Bach bomb, Michael. Why is no one joining our game? This is sad. I don't know. I'm getting real mad. Maybe restart it? Hold on. Austin, can I join the game? Austin, I will add you as a friend. Add it as a buddy. I'll just say buddied. You guys know what I'm saying. And buddied. I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing. I'm not no. I'm not sure what is. No one's. Oh, there is someone. I didn't even see it because there's no profile picture here, which is weird, right? I expected there to be a, a profile picture there. Sorry, I, here's pernicious dude. Sorry, I accidentally joined draft. <laughs> That's not the same at all. Does that mean you won't be joining us at all, or? I'm just giving people to uh, a second to uh, find this this game. I'm probably just gonna do a three three person. I like three person better than four person. How do you feel about that? That's not in the spirit. Is it not? Because I feel like three people actually I can I can keep track of what's going on a lot easier. What do you guys think? Three person or four person? Is anyone gonna join this freaking draft? All right, me and Austin. Does that mean he? This pernicious dude not playing? I don't understand. Does that mean? Does that mean you're not in? Or does that mean you accidentally joined the draft and you're on your way here instead? I can't tell. Pernicious dude, advise. All right, Noah was drunk. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. One, one v one. I don't feel like that. Sorry, trying to double cute. No, don't. Go on without me. If you're drafting, don't don't join us as well, man. I definitely don't want a a commander game where you're double queuing. That sounds pretty ridiculous. What's is who we're waiting on? We're waiting on uh, Noah. Noah, did you add me on here? I can't tell. I will close this. I would like to. This is the only. Uh, this is the only delay part here, guys. So if you guys are on on YouTube, you can, you can double speed it or whatever. Double speed it. Mike loves it when you double speed it. If you know what I mean. Double speed it. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I like how you said it again. No, I had to turn on my computer. That is. Uh, yeah, that's a thing to do. Mike, Mike's buddy and me. I am your buddy. Remember that time we had that, that big one? That big chunk? He's still a big chunk. I want to make a candy bar and call it the big chunk. It's like we're queued for an unpopular draft format. That's actually a, a way to consider it, yeah. My bad, I forgot I had joined a league and I was looking forward to playing Commander and then I realized I had to finish the draft before it ended. Oh. Well. Well. Well, then. Oh, well. What would be in the big chunk? Uh, cat hair. Or just, So we're just waiting on Noah. Noah had to turn on his computer, so. We're going to end up seeing how Noah would smash if he had no hands. What are you doing? Listening to the gum. What's it telling you, Michael? Everything. Okay. Eat some candy while you wait. We would like to see more. Yeah, go get some candy, Michael. What kind? I don't care. You pick one. I shall return. Okay. Make sure it's a good one. If it's a bad one, what are you going to do? We're going to gonna take an eyelid. <laughs> no. One eyelid, ladies and gentlemen. I lost focus on what I was doing while watching this and scalded the roof of my mouth on pecan pie. How hot was your pie? Alright, we're waiting for one more person. 
Specifically Noah. Michael's going to go get some candy from the candy jar. Specifically the Canadian candy jar that was gifted to, gifted to us by the Ludus Games, as you can see in the previous video. Man, I'm really excited about uh, Ultimate Masters drafts tomorrow. I have no idea what that format's like. Just go, Frank. My computer is slow. All right, we're just going to play three. We'll play three player for now. Oh, we got Crispy Crunch, ladies and gentlemen. Now that the waiting is over, we have a Crispy Crunch. One Crispy Crunch, courtesy of Canada. Our neighbors well, to the north. Too. Well, yes, we're not eating both of them. But we could. Well, right. There's lots of freedoms in Canada, so you're able to do that. There's lots of freedoms in Canada. Yeah, that's correct. All right, uh, you won the die. I want to play first. Definitely. Definitely. I went to join and your game crashed my MTGO. No. No, it didn't. Your MTGO crashed my game. I'll keep. It has a soul ring and lands. Done. I think we could use a black. Are you? What are you doing with that? What's going on over here? What are you measuring, man? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was worried, though. I'm just kind of having a baby toy. I'm having a baby toy? Is that what you said? Yeah, I have a baby toy. <laughs> but that's a tape measure. Yeah, it's also a baby toy. Oh, look at this Azuri. He got real dark. And we got this horde of notions over here. Canada actually isn't that free, Frank. Sad face. Really? What? What's not free about Canada? Is this Butterfinger or Toffee? Hmm. I can't tell, but we're gonna... Oh, it's Butter. It's definitely Butterfinger. Here you go. Don't don't get crispy crunchities all over. I'm okay, I'll eat it like this. That's good. That's actually a good technique. All right, let's do it. Look at that. We drew a card on our first turn. My God, this format's amazing. I got to play a Soul Ring on my first turn and draw a card. Hmm. For those who can't tell, literally just Butterfinger. But very good. It's a little more peanut buttery. Mm. Yeah. It's good though. Crispity! Yeah, it's got like a ring of like peanut butter around the chocolate. It goes like chocolate, then there's like this little outline of peanut butter. I'm trying to get it to focus on this. And then there's inside of that is like the peanut, the butter fingery, buttery fingery stuff. It's definitely good. Black mana. I can't do anything yet. We can play this next turn though. Which feels broken, I'll be honest. How are we going to do that? Hmm? How are we going to do that? How? Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So for anybody curious, Cadbury Crispy Crunch from Canada. Very good. Um, yeah, so if we can hit, like, a Scrubland, I'd be, like, real good. What if we hit a Boberland? What does a Boberland tap for? A Scrober. A Boberland taps for a Scrober? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I can't argue with that, I Play a Walking Blister for two. I could have done it last turn, though. But now I'd just rather wait till three. Now. Oof. I don't know why I like this so much. The gum? Uh-huh. Maybe it's because of your soapy nature. Maybe it is. Mm. What is this two here? I don't Oh, know. three? Why do I... Two and three? I don't know. That's weird. Maybe it's because of your... Maybe it's because you're filthy and your body is crying out for cleanliness. How dare you? What are you doing? Did you just scratch your chest at the edge? I did, of that? yeah. 
hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's amazing. That thing doesn't even have any counters on it. Yet. It never will. Wow. And in the distance, you could hear Hunter licking himself. Like you do. Uh-oh. This seems broken. Nothing fair has ever been done with Cloud of Fairies in the history of magic. More like Cloud of Unfairies. Oh. <laughs> That's good. So how do you feel? Crispy, crispy Crunch or Butterfinger? What's better? I think I might still like Butterfinger a little better. That's because you're an American savage. <laughs> That's because you're American savage. How long are you going to be streaming tonight? Until we're done with this commander. So probably a couple hours. American savage. Oh, wow. Really? This is how you're going to be? How's it going to be? Oh, we got, we look, we got, we got out. <gasps> That's a good one. And now you can tutor for a second color of your choice a tutor for a scrober dad all right let's see what we can get how's being an honorary canadian treaty not too bad it's a pretty good deal so far uh, i have no complaint oh my god i was like well, i don't know what's going on here what if we get do we just get uh academy rector here why do i don't know it seems strong right I mean, I feel like we just need another white. Want to go, go solve some simulacrum? That's good too. That's a, basically another white, right? Mm-hmm. Solemn simulacrum. Where are my other things? What? No. Where am I? Where's my commander and stuff? Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's just got cost five. Okay. Uh, why do they ask me if I want to use this? Has anyone in the history of solemn simulacrum ever not used it? Probably. Yeah, maybe, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's fair. I mean, he is pretty scary. Take a gander at that Azuri. Let's actually do... Let's do the scary thing. You ready? Show preview pain. You're entering a world of preview pain. Look at that guy. What is he like carrying a bug? You're carrying a bug. <laughs> I told you not people not to, I told you told you not to tell people about my, my the bug I'm carrying. Why? Because it's private, Michael. Why am for now? Why am for now? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's almost like it's like invisible. Yeah, why is it invisible? It's yellow. Huh. That's very strange. I guess it's close enough to green. That's what they said. Who? Your mom. Oh. Did she? I don't know. Did she? I don't know. Did she? Someone's trying to do some living end shenanigans. I see. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, he can get you her. Valley ran it. An architect of will, huh? Well, nothing but fair, nothing but fair magic being played here today. Did you get the first batch of Playmats mail? I did. They went out yesterday. One, two, three, four, five. So we have six mana. That's a lot. Jund Sojourners. Deal one damage to any target. Oh, they're just shooting my face? That's rude. That's Speaking of, word. how did you ship them? I'm hoping USPS, if not... what? <laughs> yes, USPS. I'm not going to go to like UPS for a bunch of playmats. That would be crazy, dude. Yes, they all went out USPS. First class mail. What did you just say to me? Why don't people use other postal services besides USPS? I have no idea, because they're weirdos. Perhaps. Did you send me one? No. No, I didn't. But that doesn't mean I love you any less. <laughs> Did you laugh at that? Yes. 
Good for you. Good for you. We're just playing this guy, right? Sure. Are you in this game? You need to tell me what's going on. You're the commander leader. I'm just the commander baby. What are you having trouble with? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to prioritize. Should I kill, kill this? Kill that thing, yeah. <laughs> that thing's got to go, man. That thing will kill you. I've heard that card isn't any good. Are you talking about Walking Ballista? I don't know if she's listening, actually. <clears throat> so that might not even be a thing I can do there. Pew, pew. It did it. He did his job. Oh, um. What? 11 Herbs and Spices asked, did you put on lipstick and kiss each playmat before you sent them out? Why wouldn't I do that? I'm just checking, you know. Well, I appreciate it. Why didn't I attack with this guy? Because you're bad. See, this is what I'm talking about. I gotta remind you to attack. Boy, I gotta remind you to breathe. Yes. Yes, Papa. Papa. What is this? Renegade Crisis. Whenever it evolves with a one one counter, each other creature you control with one one counter on it. Michael is a little chicken nugget. I feel like I'm gonna have to take this from you. Why? Because it's controlling your life, and I'm worried it's that it's... controlling your life? Hey, maybe you get a demonic tutor back. What does this do? When enters battlefield, return target card from your graveyard to your hand, and then choose an opponent that player returns a card from their graveyard to your hand. It's a poor their... man's eternal witness. Interesting. Which is funny, because that's not an expensive card. In paper, it's pretty expensive. Is it? Eternal Witness? It's like relatively expensive. How much is Skullwinder? Like three three cents. In real life? Yeah, something like that. A, a coal winder. <laughs> Shoot. No one can see that. It doesn't. Your joke sucks. Okay. <laughs> well, I know it's real. Yeah. See, like what? Two eighty. Yeah, what but look up. Look up. Eternal Witness sell like nine printings. How is that expensive? Oh my god, I was like, $102? Wow, that's insane. Yeah, it's like 5 bucks for lightly played. It's like $2 more. Uh, it's six eighty six. thank you. Oh wait, that's not the... I got you. Who'd they choose? I don't know. Evidently not you. Mother of Runes. Smothering Abomination. That's what I used to call my mom growing up. Fantastic. Wow. Have yourself a merry little Mike's Miss. Let your mic be one. I just drafted a UMA Eternal Witness. Nice. Chris, in real life, IRL, I assume. Apparently those are $100, which is insane. No, well, the, the box topper one is. That's what I mean. Well, you can't draft that one. This just comes in the box topper. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. If you could draft those, I would be... That'd be insane. She did nothing for me all night. Well, you know. Is this each player? Oh, God. Yeah. That seems good. One, two, three, four... Five? Yeah, that's flash, right? Yeah, but I want to do it now. Do it now. Oh, I'm tempted. To, I want to attack, and then I want to shoot. I want to do a little shooty. <laughs> Are you done? No. Boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom. Did you just sing the manly men men no. song? No. Maybe. <laughs> Sammy, listen. You shut your mouth.
Oh, okay. They're just taking four? Okay, sounds good. Oh, they're blocking? Who are they blocking? Slalom? This is actually good for us, because now... Encounter, shoot this dude. So now you have to sacrifice your skull winder. Oh, skull winder, keep on rolling, Mississippi moon, will you keep on shining on me? How dare you, good sir? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna. Do I just kill just to get rid of this guy? Or is I don't know. This, I guess so. Is keeping this around better? Man, I don't know. It dude. combos with your chaos. Yeah, it also combos with Cathar's Crusade. I guess. All right. I'll just pass. Floating face Frank is hard for me to handle. That's the point, though. I got to keep it real. I gotta keep you guys on your toes. Otherwise, you get complacent. You like Butterfinger better than Krispy Crunch? I think so. Is it because it's American? Because you because you naturally hate Canada? No, it's messed up, man. It's because I prefer the the crunchy bit of America. The America's crunchy bit. Yeah, America's crunchy bit. <laughs> I prefer America's crunchy bit. I'm Michael B. And I prefer America's crunchy bit. Your mom's a crunchy bit. 30% of your times... They had UMA drafts at PAX Unplugged? Wow, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. And I would have spent... I would have done the same thing. I do not blame you, good sir. I'm a lumberjack and it's okay. I go night and I sleep all day. <laughs> Bald Eagle screeches proudly. Oh, Jesus. When do we cast our general, our commander? See, you did that to me. Whenever you want. When would you cast it if you were playing commander? Because you kind of are. All my commander decks are really focused on commanders, so it's usually like as soon as possible. Butterfinger is the best. Mike Bar Bigel Butterfinger. <laughs> is it our turn already? Dang. Oh, is this good? No. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I really need it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a lot of basics, and I really wish I had three white instead of just two white. You can play agave now. Oh, agave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have ten. I think we can go Cathar's Crusade. No, we can't because we don't have three white still. That is unfortunate. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'd play Crusade first and just play him next turn. So we're going to go white. We could also Marshall Coop. Nah. I think we'd play the Crusade first, though. God. Not enough removal in UMA. That's good to know because I'll be doing some UMA drafts tomorrow. Four cards in hand, four cards in hand. Wish I had another white so I could play this, but alas... Never ever Google search Hershey's Wars with safety search off. Wow. Crusade and and uh, and Grove do seem fine. However, without three white sources, we are no bueno, good sir. Oh, no bueno. I see I'm a bit outclassed at the moment. No way, man. You got... You got things. One, two, three, four... Shut the door. Five, Do you six. declare a thumb war? Pick up sticks. You remember that song? I do. Was it a song or just a rhyme? Me. It's a good answer. Me. I had not considered that. Me. Okay. Um, see the bayou? I do see the bayou on board. Oh, wait. You're talking Iron Chef Sammy. Do you have duels in here? Yes. Here is one right now. Here is one now. And then it waddled away. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Duels are not expensive in Magic Online. Uh, 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 uh. 
Who are you responding to? Oh, look at this. Look at this little dino, bri dino bro. Brino do. What does that thing do? Uh, when an opponent activates an ability on a creature or land that isn't a mana ability, you may draw a card. Hmm. And she's drawn a card off of the Beast Whisperer from that. This little dumpling. Tell me the duck story. Well, you see, the duck walked up to the lemonade stand. This is a little dumpling? Yeah. Okay. A little chonker. A little chonker. Um, let's yield until the next end step. Why? Because I don't want them to draw me any cards. Who cares? Really? Also, Marshall could be just insane, right? Because they all get like 17 counters. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> that seems bonkers. I didn't think of that. Oh. Do they all see each other at the same time? Yeah. Well, that's not cool. I hate Glenn and Dark Mage. That's okay. We got this walking Burslista. Bur Perslista. Yeah, we go Perslista. The name of your mother. We go shooty shooty, double shooties, and then we go shooty again. Counter target spell. Oh, oh, oh! It's your boy. Well, can't they just pay one? It's there. It's three. You pay three. They didn't cycle it. Oh, it's when you cycle it. Like, okay. God, you don't know anything about cycling, do you? I don't. What are you? You're clearly not a Lance Armstrong. That guy went to jail. Did he go to jail? No. Why did he... <laughs> that guy went to jail? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, who are you attacking? Wow, that's rude. My relationship with Glenn is complicated. I don't get it. Oh, I got a little boop. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Are you ready for this Marshall Coon buy? Can't wait. One, two, three, four, five. So. Do for all the marbles. Bro, buddy, I will do it for so many marbles you don't even know. Buddy, I will shoot you in the face. What is that from? Oh, it's from Super Troopers, isn't it? Maybe. Look it up. Buddy, I will shoot you in the face. Yes. Yeah. And I said, Buddy, I'm going to shoot you in the face. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good movie. Is it Reservoir Dogs? And I said, Oh, and he sucked. Yeah, because he's like, and then his girlfriend's like, Chuck, Chuck, do what he says. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's Reservoir Dogs. Okay. I was going to line, ended your game on turn seven in a draw. What? What does that do? Uh, each player returns all creature cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. Uh-huh. So why did that happen? Why did it happen, you wonder? Explain quality. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently that card just breaks my Let's begin sideboarding. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why is there sideboarding? That's my point. Because I also allowed one win, so there shouldn't be any sideboarding. I'm just going to submit my deck like this. I think my deck is good. Hmm. Huh. Good games. That card must have changed drastically with the new errata. <laughs> wow. I feel like we were doing well, too. I couldn't tell, but it felt good. This seems like a mulligan. What gave it away? The 8-drop? The 2-5-drops or the 2-lands? It was the 2-lands, mainly. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ugh, this is worse. Much worse. I'll keep that. Bottom, uh, bottom. A bug walked up. Oh, that was something. Well, we had a good time. 
Eat a bag of Twix, MTGO. <laughs> that sounds like it's. That sounds like it's a, a a treat though, not a not a punishment. Did someone have an unbreakable loop with creatures that were in the yard hitting the same time? That's what I was wondering too. I was like, was there a combo that it just no. couldn't deal with? No. It was just cycle creatures. Also, songs from my goat is the best username ever, dude. It's Would you like good. to listen to some songs from my goat? Mike walked up to the lemonade stand. Wait, whose turn is it now? And I said to the man running the sand, "Hey, bop, bop, bop. You got, got any guapes? Guapes? Yeah. Look, I love my command tower. How do you feel about that? That's good. It's a good land. You're right. So I was just sitting around one day listening to some songs from my goat. You see, tell me more." Can somebody explain to me, like, uh, what is happening here? This is a format called Commander. You play, wow, every game with the Soul Ring. Must be nice. And the Reliquary Tower. Um, this is, a, this is a... Got any goifs? This is a format called Commander. You play 100 cards. One of them, which is your is known as your Commander. Uh, not you put, one off, put that off to the side. And you can cast that at any point in the game, basically. So uh, then you just play your cards. You only have one of each card in your deck, stuff like that. So hopefully that clears it up a little bit for you. Guys, can you can you guys tell Elk Tears in the chat what Commander's like? What, what Commander's about? Hodge Gulashi gifting a sub to songs from my goat. Really appreciate it, buddy. That really gets my goat right there. But in a good way. What? We should measure your eyelids so that the doctors okay, have... Sure. The doctors have... But but why did the game end? Oh, that we don't know. All right, what do you got? We have no idea. Um, Looks like about an inch and a quarter. Okay. An inch and a half to an inch and a quarter. Is it my turn? These turns are going quick, boy. Oh, well, look at this weirdo. It's a good one. Well, not with everything we have here, but... This art is also pretty terrifying, right? Let's do the thing where we check the art. Let's roll the videotape. What even is that? It's like weird, it's got like weird bug legs mm -hmm. and like a snake body, like a worm body here. And I don't even know what this head is. Is it just a skull? This art's metal as, as hell, dude. Yeah, it's right in the right in an album cover. Yeah, this is some Megadeth album cover right here. Clearly, it is an insect shaman. Everybody knows that. God, what was I thinking? It's really sad that the, the Sterling Grove can't protect itself. I was, <laughs> I was like, this is metal as hell. I don't actually, I don't actually read the MTG storyline. I should though. I always enjoy it when we talk about it on Freshly Brewed. It's beautiful in its zombie bug mother's eyes. Is it not a zombie? It's just an insect shaman. It's not a zombie insect shaman. Which is even weirder now because, boy, does that thing seem like an, a zombie. What's in its head? Mac B. Mac B. Look at these perfect draws. Like A bold move. Why? Because that's like probably a combo piece you're just putting out there. What are they going to do? Kill it? Maybe. Doubt it. Honestly, I really want you to read it. Wow, that's aggressive. I really want you to read this lore. I wish I could... If it, if it was all like easily digestible and I could find it like in one place, I'd probably read it. But I feel like I have to like load 35 pages up and then like find each... Like, oh God. It's just... You know what I'm saying? I have to find all the like hundred individual parts and then read them in order. I'm eating sushi right now. Can I tell? Can I tell? I actually can't tell. I had no idea. Jelly. You're made of jelly. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Your body is made of jelly. What is? What's that about? What's in your head? What's in your head? Can you tell me? 
A brain. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> wow. Got him. How's that gum treating you? It's all gone. All the gum is gone? No, not all of it. All the gum is gone. Please don't get that song stuck in my head. What song? In your head? Zombie? Thank you. Don't get that song stuck in my head. Xanatos974. Thank you so much for the regular resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate We can't play anything here except for this. But at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Okay, we don't have to. Oh, we have to sacrifice itself, don't we? Yeah. Well, that is unfortunate. Not really a good card right now. You're right. Play your commander. Oh, you don't. It's have five mana. mana, you nerd. Just play the bug shaman. It's five mana as well. What's wrong? Are you with sure you? about it? Uh huh. Looks like four to me. Shale Warburger, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm going to pass the turn, though. That's what we're going to do. You might want an Assassin's Trophy that mage. Mage B. It's going to get out of hand. Is it? No, leave it alone. Who cares? What could go wrong? Well, that's too bad. I can still do it in response. And then you'll still get the card. We don't want to kill this instead? Maybe you do. How did this get a counter on it? I don't actually know. Huh. Where did this counter come from? Oh, the Lana were reborn. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's pretty combo y. Graphland, graph the graph the graphland, graphland. What did you say? It was a graphland. Is it a jackal? It's a jackal. Graphland. Counter came from the land. Do you guys know where the counter came from though? I understand it came from the graphland, but do you guys know where it came from? Where did it came from? Where did it go? Where did it came from, Counterland Joe? Mm. Hey, it was the Graphland. Okay, good. I think we nailed it. Whose turn is it? My dad's? No. Frank Flair was his end of turn. <laughs> oh, man. It came from a boober? I think you mean a bober, but a boober seems like a totally different thing. What is a boober in relation to a bober and a scrober? I don't know. So I'm rubbing your face on the mic like a freaking cat. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's like this. Like this Mikey's like, <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing, man? Jesus. You don't like do that? No. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, oh my God. Here, give me spark notes. Urza builds Karn. Urza gets himself killed. Karn is sad. Karn carries around his decapitated head. Cut to the ghost dragon dude writing a bunch of HP Lovecraft fan fiction. Cut to an older, more evil dragon getting into constant fights with anime cosplayer kids, kind of like contemporary Scooby Doo. Then the same T Rex dinosaur traveled to five different planes in a row at once, and somewhere along all of that, there were the pirates and mummies. That's basic, and that's where Elk Tears runs out of room. Who is your own commander? We have uh, Gave, Guru of Spores. Is Mike on shrooms? That would explain rubbing his face on the mic. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he's just literally the the that's most, me the most chonkest cat you've ever seen. Oh, look at this beauty! I feel like that guy's deck doesn't do anything. Do any decks really do anything? Oh, man. Think about it. Wow. 
There he is. It's your boy. Now you can go to beattown.usa. Which I live in beattown.usa. We dropping frames or just me? I haven't dropped. We've dropped f some frames, but uh, we're still pretty green. We're still pretty green in the gills. Whatever that means. I wonder if Felipe is also streaming. Whatever that means. I'm tired of these renegade crassuses on this renegade plane. Here's the link to the weekly article listing on the Magic Story of Earth since... Wow, alright. Since 2012? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, you know, easy to pick up. Is this an order? It appears to be. Jesus. I'm just going to always yield to this. I'm not going to have a response to this thing. Go make sure that turtle's okay. Yeah, that was a weird noise. Yeah, it was like her rubbing him into glass, I think, but... Huh. Oh, all right, you're not attacking me. I was like, that's weird. I got a 5-5. Five five. What is this? Thought Vessel? What does this card even do? You have no maximum hand size? Oh, that's pretty all right. I guess we don't want F6, though, because we might be able to, like, if they go to do some nonsense. Then I want to be able to sack this to the Phyrexian Altar to sack this to search for something. Everything alright? Yeah, we're good. You were right. She just rubbed her hand on the glass. <laughs> Good thing there's an easy fan-made resource to find story. Can't find it from Wizards. Yeah, the thing is, like, the Wizards website is almost impossible to navigate. If I ever want to find anything from Wizards, I literally just Google it, and then I click to the link that shows up to the Wizards website. It's actually a nightmare to try to find anything on the Wizards website. How you doing, man? Look, they have uh, no maximum hand size and then also no maximum hand size. Oh, wow. They can literally have double no maximum hand size. That's crazy. Do you know how many cards that is? Probably seven or more. You're right. Dang. Seven or more. What's the hold up here? Yeah. Oh, that was too... That was too... Ready? <laughs> that's too direct yeah but it's still funny right we have a good time come on come on stop being a little baby still hoping that the hot chicken wings draft stip becomes reality well we already bought the sauces and we get them on Monday so maybe on Tuesday alright so we can play Garrick here untap two lands make two gentle mom memmies you heard me. Don't be weird about it. Did hear you. Did hear you. Uh-oh. Are you countering this? No. Untap this and the... How's your face? Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a little wet. Aren't there, like, multiple full paperback novels on the lore of... Uh, not anymore, I don't think. I don't know if they make widespread his butt. <laughs> wow. That shouldn't have been funny, but here we are. You're going to be drafting UMA at SS... No, maybe... No. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I'll definitely be drafting on a Magic Online, though. Because that's the world I want to live in. What's in Mike's head? What's in your head? Is it nothing. a zombie? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Remember that time we were going to Marshall Coup for like 50 and we had Cathar's uh, Crusade out and it was going to be like seven creatures all see each other so they all get seven counter. They would have been like seven eight eights. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been real cool, dude. Are we going to do anything with this mana? No. My problem with UMA drafts in real life is that they're kind of expensive. 
You Amaze Draft on Magic Online is not that expensive. It's like 20 tickets, I think, or something. Which is pretty reasonable, especially if you can win two packs and kind of go infinite. However, you may draft in real life is going to be like $50 of real money, which is a lot different. Give me this thing. That's it. You lost your you lost your tape measure privileges. Hey, man, at least I didn't bust my lip open with it. Wow. Wow, really? This is how you're going to be? This is how you're going to be, Michael? Yeah. Let me let me give your lip a little slice. You guys are going to witness. Slice of what? Like mango? Yeah, a slice of pizza. Dude, we got to kill something, right? We can't let this... Just kill it again. Yeah? What does this do? Our creature power is at the beginning of a combat on your turn, put X 1 1 counters on another creature you control or X the number of experience counters you have. So is that zero? For now. Okay. Mike is phasing out of existence. That's his default mode. You trying to phase, bro? Yeah, bro, like every day. Oh, God. This puts a counter on this. Oh god, we gotta get rid of this, right? Told you. Oh. <laughs> what? See you later, trash can lady. We needed that mana to make duders. We're making one duder anyway. Josh loves making duders, if you know what I mean. No. It's poops. He loves making poops. Oh. Yeah. Well. 35 US is really ridiculous. I would do as many drafts as I can of UMA for $35 US. We probably could have won there. How? Good lord. This was after Cathar's Crusade, Second Harvest, then a Mycolith activation. Oh, I think I saw this, actually. This is, yeah, look at this thing. Wow. Well. Huh. That's rude. I hope I, I, hope I have my things not... Okay, good. I'll make a little gentleman. Uh, remove a counter from a creature you control. This one. Remove a 1-1 one -one counter from a creature. Click a permanent to remove a 1-1 one -one counter from it. I, I am. Oh, I guess it said remove. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that cheesecake that Kurt just delivered randomly was pretty legit. Do 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 do. There was a little Spanish fleet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna block them. You have trample, right? Okay, we're blocking, and then we're gonna sack this. How do you feel about that? What does that do? Uh, we can search for an enchantment and reveal it and put it in our hand. Oh, okay. put it on top. That's still fine, right? I see the pay. Oh, okay, I got you. I got ya. I got ya. Do you? I got you. I heard you. I got you. you. Yeah, I know. You're weird. You're super weird. I got you're you. super weird. <laughs> God, why? Josh, what's the most important land to get here? Enchantment, you mean? That's what I meant. Thank you. Oh, how about how about doubly season? That seems good. Just do the notes about the hand. We also have a noting percent. Oh yeah, we're doubling seasoning. Double in season. Chicken tenders. I gotcha. Mike just sang a song for my goat. Songs from my goat. If you could have any any two animals as pets, what would they be? Any two animals as pets? Yeah. Hmm. 
Probably that really big lizard. A Komodo dragon? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And the other one Jesus. Would probably be a fox. Uh, what about a foxy Komodo dragon? No. Okay. What about you? Um I don't know, I gotta think about it too. So if we untap lands, we can make dudes. My dog has fleas currently. Does that count as two pets? Yikes. This is just, are we just going infinite here? This is infinite, right? I don't know. Because we make two guys, right? And then we can sack both of these to put one back and make two guys. But I don't think... Yeah, we just make this guy infinite, infinite, right? And then we can draw our whole deck. Like, theoretically, this is infinite, right? So, sack one. And we'll add two. I don't know if this is infinite, actually. Seems like it is. But we'll encounter a target creature. Well, you messed oh, it up. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. 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 Remove a counter to make a gentleman. That was... Uh, remove one on counter from a creature you control. Remove a counter from this. All right. That was, that was almost bad. So we're going to sack, add a green. Sack, add a green. Sack... This is going to take a million years, right? Remove one on counter. Pay one. It's all the same. Make six dudes. I can't tell if we're getting anywhere with this, though. Well, I'm trying to get that down, but I don't know how to do it. Wait, stop sacking. You, know, you still have a white in your pool. Right, so I sack all these guys? No, um... Put a counter back on them. Okay. Uh, sacrifice a creature, put a target. So I choose, choose target creature, I'll choose you. Sack this guy. I don't know if this is doing anything, because it's going to take... Are we netting things, though, here? Yeah, we're netting an extra token each time. So in theory, that should be infinite mana. It just takes forever. I don't know. All right, so now what do we do? We do the same thing. Make a make two. Sacrifice a creature. Choose target creature. I'll choose you. Pay one. I'll choose you. Sacrifice you. And now it's a five five again. But we have a mana now. Wow, that was a lot of work for one mana though. So remove a counter. Oh God, this is <laughs> this is so time consuming. Okay, okay. So. Why can't it make more mana, too? That's what I want to know. This is... This is... Churlish. You're right. You done messed up, eh, Aaron? Okay, now we're going to get to the point where, like... We're almost there. Just pick your nose. Pick my eye. Well, you can pick your friends and you can pick your eyes, but you can't pick your friend's eyes. Sure you can. Stay still. Oh, it's weird. It called you. Called your bluff. <laughs> Is this an infinite thing? I can't tell. It feels like it, but it's also, it also doesn't feel like it. Okay, so now can I make... I, yeah, but see, like, here's the thing. It still has one counter on it. So if I sack these guys... Don't sack them all. Well, how do I play this, then? You know what I mean? I feel like... Wait. It takes two mana. Like, it takes one mana to sack to put a counter back. 
mm-hmm. and it takes one mana to make two guys. So oh, you have so to we... sack two guys to put a counter back and make two guys. It just doesn't do anything. Like, I don't think this is infinite at all. Yeah, but every time you do it, you net two tokens, right? I don't think so. But why are you sacking creature now? Why, what do we do now? Nothing? Sure. Can't you just... Do you have to pay mana to sacrifice creatures? No. But you have to pay mana to put it back on here. Oh, you have to pay one. Right. So it's not infinite then. Yeah, we put two counters back, but we need we need two mana in order to put a counter back and to take the counter off. We need two mana to do that. I don't yeah, like you guys are not you guys aren't understanding. I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. Like, okay, so look, we have one mana, we sacked one. We're using one mana to put two counters on Gave. Okay? We used one mana to do that. Okay. And now... We're using one more mana, sacking one more token... To make two more. Okay, remove a counter. So now we have four guys. Now we're sacking one more to do it again. Remove a counter. And now we're back at one counter, five tokens, and zero mana. Do you understand? Every iteration of this takes two mana and two tokens. And you use the two counters on Gave to do that. So I don't like, you guys are like, I mean, you guys are trying to say it does a thing. We can be at five this time too. We sacrifice all five of these. <coughs> we can be at five. This is what I mean. Like, unless you're, unless you're agreeing with me, in which case, yeah, like you're not netting anything here. It takes two mana and two tokens for every iteration and the iteration only nets you two tokens because it's one iteration so like i don't understand like you guys are all making you guys are like making up crazy math in the chat and it's actually pretty funny but well, we can play an elspeth though right yeah we'd have to sacrifice gavi to do it i think that's worth is it it is actually i well i know we have a doubling season that's why we're making two tokens but we're not making two mana we already untapped. The problem is it costs mana to do it. Like, if this is a free ability, we'd go infinite immediately, but it's not. It's an infinite loop where you get nothing out of it. Right. <laughs> it's just like, are we just ultimate here? Yeah, but then she dies. Oh, she goes to... Oh, we make six dudes, right? Yeah, that seems better. Yeah, let's do that. All right, whatever, that's fine. Wait, oh, dang. We could have actually sacked four of these, played this. Meh, it's still fine. I mean, the loop itself is infinite, but we just have no way to net mana. So, you know. God, it was so confusing because you guys were like, no, you're netting one or two every time. And I'm like, no, it takes two mana to activate. And every iteration makes you two, to- two tokens and two, two sapperlings. But you're sacking both the sapperlings that you make to use the two mana to activate Gave. So. Oh, God. That was. <laughs> yeah, if we had a Blood Artist, the game would have been over. So we'll just have to go get that this turn. It's like this guy. No, Josh, no worries, buddy. You weren't the only one. You definitely weren't the only one in the chat saying it. Yeah, I thought it was invented too. I just. It seemed like it at first. Use agave to make tequila. Probably a better idea. I'm going to have six here because I don't have any. So many cards? Who has so many cards? Six. 
seven? Is this is it is it old is it old Austin with seven cards? Yeah, but it's my deck. I should know which combos. Yeah, but there's a lot. There's a hundred cards in here, man. Don't be so hard on yourself. I thought the tokens were what? Oh, look, they are. Huh. That was in the last game. The free sideboarded one. Oh man, that was ridiculous. We're also going to play another game after this. So if you guys are ready, if you guys want to play, be sure to get your commander decks ready, and you can join in our game. You know, if you want to, I don't want to force you guys. I'm not your dad. <laughs> Sit around and watch my mom, but nothing's on. What does this do? Whenever Plastic Pack has a spell, you have to counter on the feeding rep, keep you with moving number of counters. On to other creatures. This deck is ridiculous. I hope they can't kill this. They can't. Pretty sure this game's over. You're right. How do we play? How do we play with you next game? Um, send me a message on Magic Online, and I will add you as a buddy, and then you can just join the game. Not sure how much these commander games are worth your time, but they are fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, I I enjoy them, so it's not like I wouldn't trust me. I'm I'm not gonna. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't worth our, if it wasn't worth my time, or if it wasn't enjoyable because that wouldn't be worth my time. Hey man. Yes. Yeah, man. I was doing a cat meme. What did you say? I just did this. Oh, you're just rubbing people can't see you do it. Oh my god. But they can hear it. But they can hear it. Can you guys hear it? Whenever you cycle or discard another card, put a negative one, negative one counter on each creature your bros control. What are you doing right now? Are you okay? Well, you got a little beard scratchums? For some reason, I'm randomly exhausted. Uh, it's not random. It's because you live a sedentary lifestyle where you don't actually get any activity in. And uh, you wake up at 2 p.m. so that when 10 p.m. rolls... 150. What? 150. 150. 150. So that, you know, when it's late, you're just like, man. Oversold cemeteries in your if you have four more creature cards in your graveyard. That card's... This card is a classic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mike B, rub harder. Commander wears Mike out. Like, existing awake wears Mike out. Did we just win the game? Have you ever existed? That makes a lot of dudes. Huh. Just alter. Is that right? Because we can make a lot of mana with this. Let's play this guy first, right? There's got to be a way we can win the game here, right? Put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Wait, if we ultimate and we Garrick, does that is that good? They each get plus 5, plus 5. What is that? So 6, 12, 18, 30, 36? That means we can kill Austin. Austin would be lost in. hi -o! Let's do it. Are you sure we're not doing anything else first? I think so. Is she going to do anything broken? No, you're fine. Josh should just make six more duders. I'm going to make six more duders. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to start sacking dudes. How are you going to do that? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. How am I going to do that? You scared me for a second. I'll untap two lands. These two. You want over them? No, I want to play Mazza Cleckles. And we're going to go sack you. Draw a card. 
This card's good. This card might be busted. Sack. You. I guess we shouldn't sack the ones that are in play this turn. I think we're in good shape. I'm no expert here, but this deck's broken. This deck's doing some broken shenanigans. Let's add a black from this gentleman. Yeah, put him on the stackums. Always yield to that guy. Oof. Oh, and they double. Oh wow. Oh god. Oh, this is bad news, my boy. Whenever a sapling in control dies... Okay, we don't have any sappy boys. Oh, this might kill them. Um, no, let's make a green for once. So we can actually cast... Ficune, Ficune Duties... Are we just... Is this just lethal? I, w I wish we didn't actually get rid of the other guy. Two blockers and one blocker. Oh, hardened scales? <laughs> okay, let's do that. I'm worried about running out of creatures, though, but I guess that shouldn't be a concern, right? These are 13 13s. Hmm. Hmm. What happens if we play Slimefoot? Why would you do that? I don't know. Just attack. Just, just set guys until you get Gave and then cast. Oh, because the Snapperlings. Just attack? Mm hmm. So what? Two, three over here? I don't think we win, though, right? No, we can kill one player, that's for sure. But does that do anything? Killing someone in a, in a three or four person warrant? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. What are you doing? No, we're not there yet. We're not doing that yet. Why not? Because I'm not ready for it. Do you understand? I'm not ready! You're being greedy now. It's not. It's not greed, Michael. It's super greedy. It's not greed. I want to play Gave. And then we're going to go infinite and kill them all. Uh, pay four. One, two, three, four. These are 21 21s. <laughs> if we sack one more creature, we can still actually attack. Uh... Yeah, all right. This is a 12 20. <laughs> Jesus, God. How is this real life? So, just to be clear, Austin is still dead to both of these. Um, remove a counter, create a 1-1 one, one sappy boy. Oh, wow, we can remove it from anything? That's pretty insane. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> See, now we're infinite. So we can go sack for a green. Sack for a black. Uh, remove a counter. Oh yeah, we want to remove a counter first. Uh, use mana. Oh lord, they coming. <laughs> you right, you right. Uh, then we want to do the other one. Remove counter from you. And then what are we doing? So now we have no mana, but we want to, what do we want to play here? We're playing Slimefoot. And then we're just going ham with the tokens. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my god. Can I just put these on the stack automatically every time? Am I going to deck myself? Nah. We have 72 cards left, is that right? Yeah. Okay, we're good then. Uh, green...
and colorless. Actually, we might want a Psych Abomination. Oh, a Dross Messenger as well. That should probably do it as well. Maybe. No, you need negative counter, right? To, contra to counteract. All right. Oh, Lord, he coming. Yeah, we could just stack the Abomination. Yeah, that's true. We're going to definitely do that now. These guys are pretty large. I don't know if you knew that. I did know that. And infinite. Sack of this guy. It's a 52-51. <laughs> Jesus. And remove to make duders. Oh, Lord, they coming. Oh, Austin left. All right. And that's how you win the game. Like, I have to go to the bathroom really bad now. You have to poop? Maybe. Oh, man. Mike's got... Oh, Lord. He coming. <laughs> Don't concede. I want to do this. I want to do... Oh, Lord. I want to play, I want to play the chonker here. Uh, sack for a green... Sack for a green. Sack for a green. I just want to get in there with these two in a crater hoof. That's all. I don't think it's going to work, though. No, it won't work because the guys don't have trample. Actually, never mind. Yeah, I was going to play Crater Hoof and then attack with everything, but Crater Hoof's not going to be super big. I only wanted these guys to get in there and kill them with these, but, like, they're not going to have trample, so they're just going to block, block, and then take, like, five. So we're just going to have to be, like, sapperling, whatever. So. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. Um, I don't know if we change anything after that. This deck seems ridiculous. There's, this is the thing about, like, uh, Hoof gives the trample, but he only gives it to... Does Hoof give trample to everybody? I don't know why I didn't know that. That's so weird. I was thinking Hoof just gave it the plus one, plus one. For some reason, why didn't I think they gave trample? I think I'm thinking of haste, because people are always like, doesn't Hoof give haste? And I'm like, no, Hoof gives itself haste, but then it gives everyone else trample. And I think I've, I've answered that question so many times that I just literally got it backwards. So, uh, that's something. All right. Um, I I don't think this many forests is necessary. You have all the lands. You have subland, savanna, scrubland, bayou. You have some petal grove, temple garden, woodland, godless, and overgrown. I assume. Yep. All right. Isolated chapel is also there. Huh. Looking at the mana base, it actually seems fine. How many colorless lands are there? One, two, three. Does the graph land? I don't think so, no. What is that? Land of War... Uh... Lanawar Refuge or something? Lanawar Reborn? No, it just gives a 1-1 counter. Oren Reef is uh, put a 1-1 counter on each creature that ends the battlefield this turn. Oh yeah, I know we had the win. I definitely know we had the win. I wasn't... I was trying to just... I was trying to be cute and attack with the two soldier tokens that were like 65-65s. Um, yeah, I definitely had the win. I only conceded so we can move on to the next game. I wasn't like... I just want to wait for the communication where I'm like, Hey, you can, you can concede now and then we'll just go to the next game. I was just all I'll concede. We all we all got the idea. All right, so I think that being the case, I'm just gonna host a new one. And if you guys want to join, feel free to join. If you guys are not my friends on Magic Online, feel free to message me, and I will add you as a as a bro. 
and you can join. Is the Lose Hexproof Towerland in the deck? I don't know. I don't even know what that one's called. I want... <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. I hadn't considered that. I mean, it did say you win the match, so... There was... There was uh, recorded documented evidence... Oh, we got the pernicious dude in here. The dude himself. Detection tower. I don't think so. Maybe? Doesn't look like it. Oh, less than 70 ticks. If you guys are looking for a, a pretty sweet uh, Izoni list, check out General Smex Smexful. It's <laughs> a good name. It's a good name. All right. So who else? Didn't someone else say they were interested? Noah, are you interested? Or I know there was some other person who was asking. Oh, we got a uh, we got all no beats himself. Is there any place for the list you're playing? Yes, there is. Check my phone. Let's see what Elkatir sent me. <laughs> Are these yours? Did you take this picture? Because the picture itself is great. This is actually a really good picture. Elkatir's is... Uh, is showing us some sweet magic books here. All right, we got one more slot, unless we want to just do three person, which I'm totally fine with as well. I actually like three people better. I'm going to be, I, I know I said it earlier. I just like three people better because I think it's easier to manage. Oh, I was going to join, but apparently I have to download MTG up to... Yes, because it is Wednesday. That is correct. Oh, we got a Muldratha. I like it. And a Marchesa. All right. I like it. Sweet buttery biscuits. You ever brew up any standard X these days? Not frequently, but I rarely I think I rarely did that anyway. Most of my most of my things were just finding cool decks that other people played and then showcasing those and giving them credit for it. I actually I don't I never brewed that many decks, but I liked doing it. But I mostly just draft nowadays. And the reason is that I don't actually play that much constructed, so. Uh, it is Pernicious Duder's main phase. I don't feel like investing the money in MCGO. It's less than 76, 70 ticks. No, I don't feel like investing the money. Totally understandable, though. They belong to Draft Boy Taylor DeLuca. Got a new phone today, and I'm cleaning out my old one. Found this photo from way back when. Now show chat that thick Pikachu. <laughs> I actually, I'm, I'm familiar with that Pikachu meme, which is pretty hilarious. The fat Pikachu version. I'll just go Sun Petal Grove here. <sighs> Man, Mike is really literally destroying that bowl, I bet. Felwar Stony Maroney. 
Honest streaming, the height of your glory days in the Pro Tour was your favorite format. Uh, I think it's always draft. I like limited a lot, and the reason is that I don't have to choose a deck. Choosing a deck is always my weakest link. I have a compulsion to choose uh, rogue decks or like under the radar decks or not popular decks because I like the surprise factor of them. And I don't like playing against mirror match after mirror match by playing like the most popular deck. Um, so I don't want to take like, you know, mono red to an event when mono red is like the big deck because mirror matches sound awful to me all day. So I'll play like the deck that kind of beats mono red, but then it doesn't beat mono red. And I end up having a bad day. But it's like, that's my own choice. Like, I chose not to play the best deck because I just don't like doing it. Um, and a lot of times because of this, because I choose not to play the best deck and I'm trying to find, like, some 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 sort of, like, rogue deck or, like, some sort of alternative deck, um, I'm usually up way, way past when I should be on nights before an event trying to figure out a deck or what to play or what random cards I can put in this deck to make it a little more spicy like so it's definitely a weakness of mine and because of that I just like limited better because I like showing up to an event I don't have to bring any cards I don't have to choose any decks I just open packs and uh, I'll play the cards that are in the packs so And I'm reasonably good at limited, so it that also helps. Honestly, if you're on my end, you should try the pros. I'm just... Uh, I don't enjoy it that much. The thrill is great. Like, going to big events is cool. Like... But it's exhausting. Like, it is exhausting, emotionally and physically. Traveling on Friday, getting there on Friday night, trying to find food, getting there on, going to the event site on Saturday morning, playing for 10 hours, going back on Sunday, playing for 10 hours, trying to find food on on Saturday night, packing up on Sunday night, leaving Monday morning at 7. Like, that's all very, very tiring. And, like, if you don't do well, it's also emotionally exhausting because you're like, wow, this flight was 250 the event was 80 I had to buy these extra cards. I spent money on food all weekend. So you're on like four to six hundred dollars a weekend, and you just hope that you can recoup that in some way. And it's like, well, you know, that's like it's an expensive, like it's an expensive. Um, I don't want to say risk, but like endeavor, maybe. Like it's an expensive, like I don't know the word I'm looking for, but. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't mind playing on the Pro Tour and I wouldn't mind doing all that again. But, like, the journey to get there is is not an easy one. I think if they went back to the old Pro Tour system, which I think they're doing, I might actually just play in PTQs. I mean, I might as well. All right. What did I miss? Uh, we went infinite last game. I know that part. Did Mike draw? Did you do your duders? I did. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, Whoo! Um, we went infinite. Our guys were like 65 65s. We drew Crater Hoof. And then I conceded for time, so Biovisionary ended up uh, winning the game. So. Huh. Not for time. We didn't we didn't lose or anything. Um But because I was like I, I had to go win. to the next match. Yeah. Just so I didn't have to explain like, hey, I'm gonna win. Please concede. I'll wait for you to concede. Like I was just like, alright, I basically won, so I'll just concede for the sake of time, we'll go to the next round. Michael looks thinner, don't you think? Yeah, it's because he just lost like six pounds in in duders. <laughs> what does this guy do? Oh, it's Yehenny. It's your boy. <clears throat> what does this do? Dethrone. Whenever creature attacks the player with the most life or time, put a one one counter on it. Other creatures you control have dethrone. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control to begin this. Jesus. Are you drunk? Did you get drunk in the... Yeah, man. I was, I was swigging on some whiskey while I was in there. <laughs> Don't just keep rubbing it against your face. How about that? Oh, Lord. Who's coming at me? Anybody? Anybody? I don't know who's attacking who. How can you tell? Jesus. I think they're coming at me. That's rude. 
Wow. You okay, man? Show me that smile again. Do you remember that show? No. You don't remember Growing Pains? Is that Growing Pains? With Alan Thick. Leonardo DiCaprio was on that show. Dang, boy, he thick. He Alan <laughs> Thick, boy. Frank's chat at Pro Tour events. What does that mean? Oh, my God, that would be amazing. Like, you guys in the chat. That would be utterly incredible. Academy Rector. More like Academy Damn Near Killed Her, am I right? You already made that joke. I don't care. I'll make it again. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Probably. You going to poop your pants over it? Yeah, man. If pooping your pants is cool, call Mike Miles Davis. Christ. Oh, Lord. Can this resolve? Come on. Let's go. It's like if William Falk... What is he? What are you guys saying right now? Can you just let my... Uh... People go. I like that. That was a good... That was a nice little Ten Commandments throw back there you did. Let my people go. I bet you didn't even know that was from Ten Commandments, did you, you stupid dummy? Uh, I saw the animated version. The Ten Commandments? No. Shut up. You want this crispy crunch? I wouldn't mind it. Too bad. You can't have it. Want to split it? No. Wow. Remember when Tom Hanks was on Growing Pains? Old Dark... Yes! Drunk Uncle Ned. No, that wasn't Growing Pains, though. That was uh, Family Ties. Yeah, it was Family Ties. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get your get your eighties sitcoms correct. Wait, that was that's what I'm saying. That was Family Ties, not Growing Pains. That was Michael J. Fox. Growing Pains has Alan Thicke and it had Kirk Cameron and it had Leonardo DiCaprio as the as the kid they adopted, who whose father had a drinking problem. Oh shit! I gotta time myself out. <laughs> oh jeez. Family Matters, Family Ties, Growing Pains. They're all just like. They're all cookie cutter shows. Uh, is this our turn? No, it's it's Mr. McIntyre's turn. Show me that Michael again. Three's Company Two. What was the fun one with Suzanne Summers? Yeah, that was. Rest in peace, John Ritter. Come and knock on our door. Mike's been waiting for you. That sounds creepy. Knock on my door. Mike's been waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Worse there, right? Step by step. Mike's been waiting day for you. Day by day. Oh, no, he's got a knife. Jake, I'm adding you right now, buddy. I have added you as a bro. A rich start over a different hand to play. The people we fall, stumble we Does that mean they're blocking? Are you blocking Marchesa with both of these? Fascinating. I don't think Pernicious Dude has ever played magic before. Yeah, Disfigure? Why did you block with both of these guys? Whose figure? Disfigure. I'm really confused about what's happening right now. I'm just going to have six here. I got nothing to do. I don't think his last name is Ramirez. I think it's Robir, Rob, Rob, Roberso. Roberto. Carlton Banks. Alfonso Ribeiro. 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 R i b e i r o. Yeah. It's Alfonso Ribeiro. Yeah. There you go. Josh Charles got it. I was like, I don't think it's Ramirez. That's not correct. Wow. My my knowledge of eighties and nineties 
sitcoms is far greater than I wanted it to be. We had Three's Company translated here in Quebec. Remember that my mother used to watch this show when I was a kid? The dubbing was so out of sync. It was horrendous. Yeah, I could see that. All right, so how do we get this in the, in the trash can? Okay, that you doesn't... Block. Well, they're not being attacked, though. What do we do then? Just block. Okay, you got it. Where's the black man? I told man? you to block. i do it again. I'll cut you. Do we just want to get a black so we can play Winding Constrictor? With what? With a ghost quarter, you muppet. Oh, ghost quarter ourselves? Yeah. Yeesh, dog. That's a yeesh for me, dog. We might need it, though. How does one perchance get onto the list to play Commander Knight with Frank and Mike? You literally message me on MTGO when I were playing, and uh, I will add you to my buddy list, and then you may be, feel free to join our game. That is all it takes. I'm just going to pass here. I'm just going to pass, bro. I feel like No Beats is winning here, otherwise known as No Burts. Rector taps for black. Oh, son of... Why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you tell me Rector taps for black? What are you talking about? We got Crypto with the right, you stupid oh, bitch. Oh, I didn't know that. It's probably still more important to block. Because, like, just getting Winding Constrictor on this board is not great. Although Goblin Ski Patrol knows what's up. Why didn't you... Why it's got blue you... text on it. How did you not see that? I didn't read it. Hmm. I'm in an 80s sitcom on YouTube. It's called A Over Here. The premise is I bought the same house on some as someone else in the bank makes up and we both have to live together. I'm not joking. What? Hold on. Are you serious? I've never heard of this show. What the hell? This is a real show? Oh, it's YouTube's best new sitcom. Is this a real thing? I think this is a new show. Oh, it is. It's a new show made to look like an 80s show, right? Okay, that's pretty funny, actually. Huh. Huh. Uh, opponent to the right's commander is... Uh, it's Marchesa. On the, it's on the board. What about the other one? That's a good question. Hide it, hide it. Muldrotha. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah! After ten thousand years, I'm finally free. You know who that is? It's Rita Repulsa. Yeah, I know. You told me like seven times. It's because you never know. Every time I say it, you're now like, I know. You're okay. like, who is that? Who is that character that you're doing? Old Power Rangers. Do people still like those? Yes, people still love Power Rangers. Okay. Oh, you're coming at me, huh? Oh, no, you're not? Dang. Pernicious dude is basically dead. I think this is actually keeping them at bay. They're like, I don't want to kill that. Yeah, because it normally ends the ends the game. One Academy Rector is doing some hard work here. Mike, Mike, do you know what that voice Frank is doing? Is? <laughs> no, please tell me. It's, from, it's Rita Repulsa. From I didn't talk to you. You shut your mouth. Oh, you shut your mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do this. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. You all ready for this? Are you all ready for it? Holy biscuits. It's Ricky Repulsor from G.I. Joe. Yeah, you remember old Ricky Repulsor? He was a new member of the team. He came in late. What does this do? Whenever a creature you control dies, oh, they just go back to your hand. Ugh. After ten thousand years, I'm finally free. <clears throat> Zordon, what have you done to me? Zordon was creepy. That's correct. Look, we get to go find an enchantment. Are you ready? I'm so ready. They go back to the battlefield? You go back to the battlefield. High five. 
That's like a high backhanded five. Let's do let's do backhanded fives. <laughs> that's, that's a weird thing to do. Is this how they humans do it? <laughs> I am good human. You just always get doubling season. I feel like you do always get doubling season. Yes. Is that correct though? It has to be. What about dictator robos? That's also real good. Hmm. <laughs> eh. Yeah, we're just gonna get broken double broken ass doubling season. This is how humans do it. Who is your favorite commander? I have no idea, actually. I'm not a commander fan. I just, I'm, a, I'm as big a commander fan as the people I'm playing with. This dude is friggin' huge. After 10,000 years, I'm finally free. Hmm. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn, <laughs> gets him every time. Well, buck ball gets him every time. It's a lot of lands to get back. Oh, what is it like two? No, uh, or like five. One, two, three, four, five. Was it all the bottom ones? I think so. One, two. No, I think it was one, two, three. They probably had one here because it's only three mana, and they do four, <laughs> so they probably got five back. That's pretty good. I like that we have a thick link and also uh Oh yeah. Damn. Damn boy. <laughs> Can't even handle it. Oh, Anthony Fantano, you are a treasure. My favorite commander is Braids. Yeah, that's a that's a reasonable Pepe sad face there. My favorite commander is Braids. I saw someone do a cosplay of Pepe, and it was really, really was it good? nightmarish. Oh, was it bad? No, was it, was, it like it, was, hum- it like, was too good? Was it humanistic? Like where you look at it, and it's like like the human. Remember the Pokemon? If like Pokemon are real, like they and they animated, not they drew them like really like hyper realistic. Yeah, like it was like that. So it was like a realistic Pepe. Just look at Pepe cosplay. Oh God. Was it this? No, there's there's. Hold on, I'll just show you. Let me find it. I like they're like I know where it is, I can find it. Just at us, huh? I'll allow it. Hopefully, you're not going infinite. You should try Yidris one day. Who's Yidris? Is that your dad? Yeah. Yidris Bartholomew? Mm-hmm. I am Yidris. Oh, that's good. That's a land. All right, so how do we do this and win the game right now? Is it a thing we can do? Is it a thing we can do? Because I got gold in my gold. do 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 you drink some whiskey drink you drink some vodka drink spider drink oh wait can we get gave and can we get gave and just win i feel like we can right i don't know maybe i'm making shit up did you not find it oh yeah <laughs> i got distracted Mine said easy brood time. I'm actually not joking. Why would anybody think you were joking? Oh, this dude's a 10 10. Damn boy, he thick. Oh, we don't have a way to sack them four mana, though. So that's a, that's problematic, right? So now we can actually play Micaeus. Oh, we could have played Winding Constrictor. Oh, but it gives us one more counter, I guess. Uh, other non-humans you control get plus one plus one and have them dying let's do that one two three four five six Macias. there you go 
Oh no, that's not okay. <laughs> no, no, no. That's like alien. That's like some alien nonsense. How come everyone in the upper right always has chromatic lantern? Can you explain that to me? That is a it's a theme apparently. And they always have a bunch of basics, and they're like, "Here's a chromatic lantern." I don't get it. It would be Ramirez de Pietro, the flamboyant pirate. Like you do. All of my tokens have undying, Michael. That's cool. Thank you. What does that mean? You know what it means. I don't actually. Don't be a little bird brain. Don't be a schnickel fritz, okay? Okay. Did you ever tell Bell Schnickel what she wanted for Christmas? Yeah. If you're if you're a admirable. Beats, beats farm. A beets farm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, you're just hoping you're not impish. That's I guess that's what we're we're hoping for here. Living death. Is this how you, is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Well, isn't that special? I don't feel like this is actually special. I am going to add a black and sacrifice a creature. And I'm going to sacrifice McClellis. And okay. And I guess we're going to lose all our gentlemen. Well, that was just sad. Had her set to command zone. Get wrecked, you nerd. Get wrecked, you nerd. Got him. Got him. Got him. I heard you. Oh, my God. Oh, what up, Prius bros? Clambert has a Prius as well. Mike, what's your favorite commander? Um, Turtle Jones. Yeah, probably Turtle Jones. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I knew you were. I could tell. He's a green-white commander. Green-blue commander. He comes from the water. He's a, he's a hard-shelled, smart street cop that doesn't take any nonsense. That's Turtle Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Do you walk around with spaghetti in your pockets? I don't, actually. But, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I would probably walk around with angel hair because I think angel hair is a superior noodle to spaghetti. But, uh... Other than that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm game. I'll put some spaghetti in these pockets. Spaghetti in these pockets. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these pockets are gonna spug it all over you. That was amazing. What's the best type of pasta? I am a big angel hair fan. However, I think, uh... <laughs> Jesus. I think if I was looking for a thicker doodle, it would probably be like penne. I'm a big penne fan. Um, I like the ridges that penne offers over something like ziti. Holds the sauce a little bit better. I like linguine. Do you? Yes. Okay. Cool. I also like bow tie noodles. Those are good. Oh, bow tie noodles. How fancy. Can you ask Chad if my commander is in there forever unless I play reanimation? Um, is 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 Ben's commander in here forever unless he re has a way to reanimate it? Or if it changes zones. Yeah, it's stuck in there. Are you, in fact, looking for a thicker... Sometimes. Sometimes you want a little thicker noodle. If 
I'm not going to say if you know what I mean there, because there's no euphemism. It's just we're talking about pasta, so. I'm talking about nudes. Yeah, Mike says you're boned. All right, good games. I'm these ones. Well, biscuits. This is how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Is there any way to get it back for him so that we don't have to... Can nope, you, he done goofed. Can you just not play your deck? That's sad. How many how many commander decks do you feel there are that, like, if that happens to your commander, you just auto-lose? Well, that's never going to happen in a real game. On paper. That's a good point. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over Mike B. Michael B. Oh, no, we're, we're definitely ghost quartering to get a land here, because this is a little ridiculous. I kind of want to attack with this guy. What were they just, Oh, I guess I got to intimidate, right? Can we just play Gave here? No, we need a black still. Dang it. We could scavenge goose, but we don't have uh, scavenging goose, and we'd have to, like, we don't have a way to find it either, so. Micaiah's taps for black, but I want to attack with Micaiah. He's at 25. I know it taps for black. I'm trying to kill them. Plus, this turns on reflecting pool as well, which is huge. Uh, Commander, cast this, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want it all. Why'd you pay six? Because I already played him before. You know how Commander works? No. I know. So I kind of want this guy to go to the graveyard, right? Because if they... How do I do this? Um, Is it under here? Okay, no. That's uh, under here. Nope. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to make it so that if this guy dies... Okay, if Gave would change zones, it goes to... Hand. Command zone instead of graveyard. I think it goes to graveyard. Oh, it goes to command zone instead of graveyard. We want it to go to graveyard instead of command zone, right? Why? Well, because oh. it can undie. Read pernicious to each message. You and me, one-on-one, -on -one, literally no stakes. Uh, so, Hank, did you ever think the painful day when we were both... <laughs> crossing the street at the Wawa and I said hey did you ever think it would all lead to this you and me one on one <laughs> Just, you know I never did and here we are six years later I want it all oh it can't undie if it has one one counters on it dang it fine go back to the stupid command zone magic's so hard sometimes Go to the command zone then. Biscuits. I get undying and and uh, persist confused. I think Hunter's got to poop after this. What's your favorite? What did you say? Your favorite commander? It was T-Bone Jones, Turtle Jackson. Turtle T-Bone Jones, Turtle Jackson? That was weird that you kind of added his high school nickname there. I don't know. But for real, though, it's, it's still Sidisi. The Sultan? Brood, Brood Tyrant, yes. Can you guys hear Hunter in the background? Well, someone just did a Hunter face, so. That's what I was wondering. That's what made me wonder. I was like, can you hear that, that gentleman? That handsome man? Hunter wants it all. And he wants it now. Does he? No, he's he's pretty patient. Oh lordy, oh lord, he coming, <laughs> Hunter. What are you doing? You come over here. You come up. Come here. Oh yeah, there you are. Hi. What are you doing? What? Where are you going? We were doing a thing. We were doing a little Hunter meme. You want to come back up? Come on. Come back. Come on. You can do it. You're good. You're good. Come on. Oh, there you go. 
Hi. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're being a cutie. Because that's all you know how to do. What are you doing under this desk here? You're just getting your butt rubbed? Okay. All right. Well, we're doing good. Here I am. How can you block? I got... I got all the things. You playing that dude from your grave yard? Hey, what are you doing? You gotta back it up. Oh, you're coming back up again? All right. You wanna see the people again? Come on. All right. You better fix your side over there. We're getting a little... The hunter's getting a little rambunctious here. All right, let's... Let's finish this up so we can kill Pernicious Dude. You ready? Are you ready for this? You know what that's from? My dad. Jason's Jones spam a lot in space. Jason Jones spam a lot in space. That's actually exactly correct. Yes. Short for Space Jam. All right, so we remove. If we, is there any way to go infinite with Micaeus and Jarl's messenger? Don't think so, because you have to have a way to remove the neg one, the plus one counter. <laughs> So we play this guy, but like the counters don't. They can block now. Where do we get our life drain from? What is he saying? Oh, because of this? Oh, Swenny boy. Oh, play messenger, sack it for counters, remove the counters, repeat. Okay. How do we remove the counters? With his ability. Oh, <laughs> boy. I probably want to tap this guy, actually. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then this guy. Always yield to that. Uh, remove a 1-1 one, one counter. Oh, he doesn't actually have it yet. So we can sacrifice it to put a 1-1 one, one counter on my dad. Sacrifice a creature. This guy. Always yield to these undying triggers. Why did it trigger twice? I don't know. I don't know either. Confusing. Oh, put a ton of counters on Micaeus actually seems like a good idea. What are you doing right now? Don't do anything crazy. <gasps> Rude. Oh, wow. Is he only doing it for two? Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. One, two. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with it. I think we could actually just win here. Maybe I mean we think we could have. We're at thirty-one though. I think we're safe. They have seven cards in their hand. How's that even possible? Oh, because of reliquary tower. One, two, three, four, five. Cast this dude. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's an eleven, eleven. That's a big dude. You guys remember the time Hunter came and visited? Oh, because he got Undying from Micaeus in his own, so that's why I triggered twice. That makes sense. I was really worried that he was going to overload Cyclonic Rift and kill us. I mean, I wouldn't kill this. It just would have sucked. I mean... 
we would be pretty far behind. I don't know if we can recover from that. Chainer's Edict. Well, that is unfortunate, is it not? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this guy going to cost nine? Gross. You don't have Undying, right? Is it just this guy? Alright, so we're going to actually remove a 1-1 one -one counter from a creature you control. Remove it from this guy. Make two dudes. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, there's a lot going on, guys. And it has Undying, too. Sick. Tweet, JK. It's, it's dead. Money. And Mike's favorite command. It's Turtle Jones, right? Yeah. Yeah. This deck, I, I think Rogue Passage would be pretty good, actually. Sorry, I'm coaching too much. It's, it's fine. That Josh, that's totally your way, dude. That is totally your way. You're always like, hey, do this. You got to do this. Hey, don't forget to do this. Hey, definitely do this. And I'm like, hey, who's 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 critiquing who here, buddy? But I accept it. I accept that that is your way. That is the way of your people. Your people? Liliana, Def, Def's Mastery. Can you get anything good back? Not really. So you're going to mill two. You get a spreading breeding pool and a whip of Erebos. Josh, you created a monster here. LOL, well done. Well, who's, who's the monster? Is it Mike's dad? Who made the red band red? That's racist. Uh. Bah. All right, you ready? Yes. I think this is where we win the game, right? They're at 16. They also have six cards in hand. All right, well, let's get to it. Remove a counter from a creature. Remove one one counter from this guy. Add a black, sacrifice a creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this guy, sack you. Can we do this eight times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? So, oh, we don't have enough mana to take the two counters off. Actually, doubling season is... Um, How do we get rid of this guy? We can gain a lot of life here. So, all right, remove a counter. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a Johnny and One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana right now. Nine? Okay, so that's good. So we can sack this guy when we want to. We can also just play a Johnny here. One, two, three, four. Don't counter my Johnny, bro. He didn't. <clears throat> Put a one, one counter on each dude. I think we attack here with just this guy, maybe. Oh, you get Vigilance too? Dang. Unfortunately, you do not have. You can also draw a million cards here. Oh, we're going to. The only problem with that is that we don't, uh, what do you call it? No, I don't. Good talk. We don't uh, we don't have the mana to do anything with the cards we draw, so we might have to just wait one turn. What? Why don't you just draw cards? It's an instant, right? Yeah, so we can do it on their turn to keep up the indestructible portion of it. 
Because if you do it on our turn, it doesn't, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to waste the cards and the indestructible. Yeah, we'll just pass here. How do you get Vidge? Oh, Johnny, right. Yeah. Yeah, doubling season is not a fair card. It costs six mana to play. It's five. It costs five mana to play. It's four. It costs four mana to play. It's free. Oh, okay. It costs five Maybe Phyrexian not. mana. Uh, that's fine. Whippy McBippy. Whippy McBippy. The Michael Bartholomew story. What does this one do? This is desert. So you don't have any exciting lands, right? All these are basic boring lands. That's pretty good. I'm okay with all your boring lands. Create a nerd. What goes into the graveyard now? Your dad. My dad goes into the graveyard. Actually, it was a hostage taker and a pilgrim's eye, which is... Your dad. Okay. Okay, Michael. Oh, they can whip back hostage taker now? Ooh, that's terrifying. And that's what they're gonna do. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. What are they going to take? We're sacrificing this, right? We have to. So we have four mana, so we can remove all the counters, and we can just sacrifice this guy afterwards, right? Remove a counter, remove a counter, remove a counter. That seems good, right? Sure. Um, remove a counter from this guy. Tap. Remove a counter from this guy. Um, remove a counter from this guy. And then we'll sacrifice this guy. Add one. Sacrifice a creature. Sacrifice you. And raise it. Click a creature to sacrifice it. Uh, oh, actually, let's move the counters on the wrong thing. Okay, so activate you, sacrifice a creature, choose the target, probably just this gentleman here, and we'll sack you. You can't have my Micaeus. I feel like we're in okay shape. This is where they're like, oh, languish. And I'm like, mm, that's good. Good and sad. What they got in their graveyard? Nothing. Living Death, Pilgrim's Eye, Cyclonic Rift, Splendid Wreck, Knot of the Bone, and a Compulsive Research. Nice cards, butt munch. That was like three minutes ago. Boom, 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 boom. Michael, let me tell you something. Okay. You suck. That's rude. It was rude. But it's true. All right, so Cyclonic Rift is in the graveyard. Um, Remove a counter, pay one mana. Remove it from this dude. Okay, so... Got a lot of dudes. Well, that's actually helpful, surprisingly. What? Oh. What? Is that wrong? You could have played Winding Constrictor first. I don't think it matters. He's at 14. Slam him. Slam him and jam him. Look at that vidge. Oh, no. They, they missed out on one whole counter each. <laughs> hey, man. That would have added up. <laughs> <laughs> what did it have? Yes. Prove it to me. I don't need to. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, no blocks. Okay, we've gone to no blocks phase. Let's go to the damage dealing portion of the game.
Are they going to fog? Give them lifelink and death touch. No blocks. Solid strategy, good sir. We're in the damage dealing portion of Magic the Gathering. Negative 58. A solid strategy. I think if you were blocked, you'd have been fine. I don't... Um, <laughs> I think you messed up by not blocking. All right, guys. On that note, we're going to get out of here. I think this deck is actually fine as it is. Uh, we, we just went 2-0 with it, which is pretty sweet. One thing I would like to add is maybe Rogue's Passage. I also don't know if Ghost Quarter is better than Field of Ruin. Because you do have a lot of basics in the deck to search out. So I would probably play a Field of Ruin. I know it's a little bit more mana restrictive, but it also gets you a land. And this is not a deck you want to really fall behind on lands, I don't think. The other card I do like is uh, Rogue's Passage. Because your guys end up getting very, very big. And if you had Rogue's Passage for something like... Uh, Gave when it's actually huge I think it's pretty good oh Field of Ruin does get lands for everyone that's true it's each opponent that's interesting maybe that is is that good though I don't think that's good right no I don't even know actually that's tricky you want the basic there were so many times where I wanted to be able to search for a swamp but I don't know maybe it's just not as good Austin, uh, check out my Twitch profile. You can find information on that down below, uh, or you can find it on YouTube if you guys are looking for that, how much for stipulations and or deck critiques. I uh, I do enjoy doing these, so if you guys are getting some value out of it, then definitely check out my Twitch profile or uh, my YouTube description that you're watching right now, and you can find that information on that. Um, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a great night. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, you can check me out on Patreon, on Twitch, on meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, and on Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. The link for all of those is down below in the description or in my Twitch profile. And, uh, you know, it's a great way to support the stream. So thank you guys for everything. I'll see you next time.